Hi, I'm Lisa Howe from the Ballet Blog, all the way from Australia, and this is More Than Dancers. The reason why I specifically work with dancers is that when I first started practicing, um, I fell into a job where I was working with dancers. Dance was a huge passion of mine, but my constant frustration was that I was seeing the same preventable injuries over and over again. And I realized that if more information was given to both dancers and their teachers, that we could prevent possibly up to 80 or 90% of the injuries that I was seeing in clinic. So one of my great passions is to take any issue that I see um, as it comes into clinic, especially if it's a repeatable pattern, and look to see what could have been done six or 12 months before to prevent that from happening. And then to formulate that into a program that can be shared all over the world, even when people don't have direct access to a therapist like myself. So the thing that I'm really passionate about is creating programs to be implemented at different stages of a dancer's training to help them circumnavigate or prevent any of these issues from occurring. There will always be acute injuries, but if we can drop down the number of preventable injuries and actually help dancers know their own bodies and understand their bodies better, we can actually accelerate dance as an art form rather than being limited by our physical capacities. So the most common preventable injuries that I saw in the beginning were all around the foot and ankle, which is why we actually started off with the Perfect Point book, because that was teaching young students the very basics of articulating the foot. This theme has kind of traveled through because as far as I can see it, about 90% of the foot and ankle injuries we see are from dancers using the wrong muscles for the wrong job. Our bodies are exquisitely designed and so if we are using the right things, everything works well. However, if you have a weakness in one area, this will often offload the tension onto another area, which will then start to break down and become painful or inflamed because it's basically working a day shift and a night shift all the time. So especially programs like the program I did with Vicky Atta, the My Beginner Point program, teaches young students how to correctly articulate their feet and then build this into their technique on point so that they're learning it right from the very beginning. One thing that we work on is actually developing correct motor patterns from the very beginning because it's much easier to install a good motor pattern from the start rather than trying to change one later on. So we really, really look at the fine control of the foot and ankle. The other area that we see a lot of injuries is now with the change in some performance um, tricks and excessive mobility, and with a lot of kids trying things that they're doing out of class. So it's not things that they're doing with their teachers in class, but it's things that they're trying at home. So we're doing a big push to try and get students to cross-check things with their teachers. Also, we really want to encourage students to take the onus on themselves for learning about their own body. And there is so much more that we are learning about the body now. So whether you have a fantastic teacher or a teacher who is doing the best with all the knowledge that they have, the onus is on you to learn as much as there possibly is to learn about your own body and where you want to take it. So I highly encourage you to look around this site for more information about diet and nutrition and other healthy habits of living in a healthy body. Explore everything on the ballet blog. We've got hundreds or thousands of articles on how to look Look after your own body better. Use all the resources that you have and with the internet now it's amazing you can get access to so so many things that we never could in the past and expand your knowledge of how the human body works and what is particular about your body that you can use to help get where you want to go. Whether that's as a professional classical dancer, whether it's being on Broadway, whether it's being a teacher, whether it's just having a functional human body to go and become a doctor, a lawyer, anything you choose to do after your performance days are over. So thank you so much for visiting More Than Dancers. Feel free to come back and check for more information and also come and visit me on theballetblog.com. Talk to you soon.